Hello everybody, welcome back to Go To Hydroponics here in lovely Florida Lake, Wisconsin. Today, let's see my little temperature gauge. 85 degrees out here right now. It is, what is it, September 23rd, I believe. I know it's been a while. I've been kind of slack and well. See, I started I started a kind of a new career. So I went from machining to HVAC and I just started college and I'm kind of busy with that and working at the same time. So you know how that goes. I mean, it really hasn't been too much going on around here. Of course, my plants are bigger, but... 85 degrees out well it's more like almost i think it's getting closer to 90 especially in the sun it's super dry we haven't had rain in a little while and 47 percent humidity so it's kind of sticky and gross out here but of course my hydroponic systems are running great because they have full water so they can't run out of water um yeah i picked some peppers tomatoes i haven't picked yet they are not ripe let's see here they've been sucking a lot of water that's for sure so, as you see, we're in a little different spot because, one, the sun's in the way and it was making my video look like crap. So, we're in the shade here and it's a little bit cooler. So, I'll take you guys through a tour of my plants here and show you what they're all like and what they're all up to. Um, you know, I do hope you guys, I don't do this for money or anything. I, I do it for entertainment. I think it's fun just to let everybody know what I do. I hope it, like, it's more of an inspiring thing. I hope it inspires you to do something or get outside and do something, uh, especially with hydroponics. It's a fun little hobby fresh food. Okay, let's go on a little tour here. So if you look, you see orange, which these peppers are getting pretty damn big. I'll take you off the camera mount here, I think. Okay, so here's my hydroponic bell peppers. So we have, the plants are okay. They're, they didn't grow up like I wanted to. They kind of grew short and outwards. But as you see, there's orange. These are the orange bell peppers. They were all nice and green last week. Now they're just starting to turn orange. I picked about a handful of them. They weren't too big. I had two rotten ones. But if you look here, I mean, look at that. That's a nice size freaking pepper. And they weigh a lot, too. Uh, plants are pretty healthy looking. Leaves look a little funny, but I guess that's the heat. Look at that. There's a nice big orange one over there. You got an orange one there. There's a good two, three, four peppers on every single plant I have sitting here. Let's take a peek at the roots since we're here. I haven't really looked in here in a while. Not too shabby. They're not as white and beefy as I would like them to be. But, I mean, they are... They were definitely filling up the bucket, I would say. It's not too shabby, right? Uh, peppers, I've noticed by growing... Okay, so the one thing about growing peppers to tomatoes is that peppers do not suck any water compared to tomatoes. Peppers will use like a quarter of the water tomatoes will in the same time period. Like I think I went two weeks and that used all 23 gallons and this used like five gallons, maybe. These want more of the nutrients, less water. These want nutrients and water. They, are, they want all of it. They are mighty hungry plants. So these are my wall of friggin' tomatoes. Look at how many there are right here. Um, as you, you can't really see the tomatoes, but there's a lots of bunches everywhere. There are these ovally looking ones. They are just starting to get ripe. Come around to the front here. See, they're just starting to turn red. I know it's late in the season, but I also got them started late in the season. There's one that's almost red compared to all the other ones. There are, I mean, there's a good amount. Get you a little closer, some there, there's some here, here, here. There's some pretty big bunches. There's a nice big bunch down there. Oh, there's two red ones. Sneaking, they're hiding. Are hiding up there for sure. Okay, let's check out these roots. Not too bad either. It kind of looks exactly like the peppers. So I chain, I filled this with water, I believe, what was it, like Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday, and I had to fill it with water on that Saturday. It was down, I believe, 10 gallons just from the hot weather we've had. Like, I literally had to fill it, and I filled it up to, what, 25 gallons yesterday, and we're ready, to, oh my god, I filled it up to 25 gallons yesterday at like 9 o'clock, or no, it was like 8 o'clock p.m., and I'm already down to 20 three gallons so i drank two gallons five tomato plants drank two gallons in less than less than 24 hours almost 12 hours that is ridiculous i'm starting to run out of my second bag of bloom because this was uh i didn't know i'd go through this much i'm almost down so i'm almost used two bags of bloom and one bag of well i have like half a bag of grow left and two bags of two bags of bloom i will be going through for sure um, yesterday the water was clearly above this spigot. It was definitely like an inch or two above this spigot. Wow. 
that is, uh, they are definitely hungry, all right. But they're growing, they're at the prime time, so I guess, you know, you get what you get, right? Peppers I filled up too, but they don't have, oh, there's a damn frog in there again. How does it find that? Yesterday, we took out a frog out of my hydroponic reservoir, and now I look, let's stick you in here, don't drop the camera. Look at it, there's another frog sitting in my nutrients reservoir, I'll take him out and throw him in my pond. It's so dry out here, they're finding the moisture, I guess. So, well, right there, big old tank of water. And staying nice and moist in there. So I'll throw them by my freshwater pond instead of all this fertilizer stuff. But yeah, there was another one, a green one here, sitting on there yesterday that I took out. So we'll have to move him again. Um, otherwise than that, I really haven't had any issues. Uh, yesterday, my pepper drippers, I was having issues with those. I turned it on, and I didn't see any water coming out. Well, I opened the valve, and I wonder if it wasn't getting enough pressure or something I'm not sure what the deal was with that but if you look now back there there is a nice little trickle of water flow so it's it's working now I don't know what the deal was with it before beats me um as you see the rest of our garden that's my fresh water reservoir by the way I gotta clean it out yet the rest of the garden is pretty much chopped down and that's about the end of the season that corn was horrible tomatoes were okay the rest of things were cucumbers were really good the rest of it was and ground cherries were cucumbers and ground cherries zucchini were like the best the rest of it was all kind of mediocre uh so yeah this is uh definitely working out pretty good i'm pretty happy with the results peppers i wish they would grew taller and better tomatoes i'm still there's, there's definitely a lot of tomatoes. They're kind of hidden. You probably can't see as much as I can, but you have to. You really have to look and think about it. But it is uh, it's definitely grown more than I thought it would. Pretty happy with that, I would say. And especially because there's the tomato plants here, and there's this big freaking tree that we didn't plant here. We had a compost here. It's an apple tree that grew by itself, blocks out most of the sunlight. But I mean, it still gets a good amount. So. Yeah, that's the uh, latest and greatest. I'll keep you guys updated when I harvest. I have not picked a single tomato yet, which I think I might be soon because these look almost completely red. Peppers, again, I picked a handful of them. Uh, yeah. Definitely hot out here, though. This is kind of getting ridiculous. Let's go check my thermometer one more time. There you go. This is ambient air temperature, 43 degrees, 43% humidity, and 88 degrees Fahrenheit in Wisconsin. In the middle, almost freaking October, and it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit. This is just the one or two weekends. Next week, it's supposed to get down to like 60 degrees again. So, trees are already losing their leaves, but again, look at this. Greenest thing around. It's kind of drier looking, dry over there, dry over there, and luscious green. So there you go, as one of the pluses to hydroponic growing. Is that your fruit, your plants will <coughs> always be growing to its fullest because it always has the amount of nutrients and water that it needs. So uh, I think that's about it for today. Keep you guys updated next time. Let's try to get a little more, try to get going now. I'm used to the school and things like that, so I'm a little more adjusted to my schedule. But uh, let me know what you guys think. And I know the last video that one of the guys was saying to dilute my acid instead of using it fully concentrated which i think i might do because it's kind of dangerous that way i'm not gonna lie so i think that'll be a video coming up sooner or later especially when i do indoor growing that'd be a better video for that but uh hit the subscribe button if you like what i'm doing comment if you have any questions or want to see anything so uh over and out people